How's it going? Hi, thank you very much. Okay. Hey. So, welcome to Las Vegas. You know, thank this you. is like the city of magicians, mm -hmm. and of course, being that this is sequel, has to be bigger, better, and I mean, how are we going to top all this in the game of showmanship? Um, well, I, uh, well, luckily, kind of the, the greatest showman, uh, David Copperfield, is uh, working on the movie with us, so he was able to kind of um, not only sign off on what we were doing, but uh, I would say inspire us uh, to, uh, you know, to, to kind of be as great as him, to kind of use illusions that would be worthy of somebody like that, you know, who's working at the top of his field. Um, and so we really, uh, we felt like we were supported not only by, like, Copperfield, but by the magic community that uh, this movie was not going to kind of, um, that this movie was going to kind of uh, be a reverential, um, kind of be a reverential film about magic. Any showmanship practice or whatever? Showmanship practice. Uh, in terms of showmanship, I mean, that's a huge part of, of being a magician, you know? It's like, obviously, you need to have the skills, uh, the hand dexterity and everything, but like, a, I think the guys who are on top of their game and who are more successful than the rest have something about them personally. You know, they bring something on stage that you're just attracted to and you like them and you want to just watch them and see more. Um, and so, yeah, showmanship is half the game. And um, I just want to know is, because, uh, because this being a movie, um, where's the balance between doing the magic tricks and the CGI, and is, was it entirely awkward um, for, for you guys? No, we tried to do as little computer effects as possible because uh, the tricks, when they're done practically uh, and live, uh, not only do they look better to the audience, but they feel better to us. That um, when we're doing tricks that are really difficult to do, uh, doing them realistically makes us react in a way that appears more real. And, um, excuse me, sorry, that was a trick. And actually now I've been, I just took your wallet. Um, no, um, yeah, no, but, um, the old sneeze wallet grab. But, uh, so we tried to do everything as realistically as possible. And I think the movie is, is better for it. I mean, I agree. I agree. Uh, but I give, I, I give John, the director, a lot of credit for, allowing some of these scenes to really breathe and to really play out naturally because I think a lot of directors in that scenario would want to just do a, some quick cuts, you know, and get through it yeah. where it just feels cheap. And uh, so, yeah, John encouraged us to learn all these tricks and then he let them play out on screen. It was nice. Hey, well, thank you very much. I think my Thanks wallet's still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thank man. you.